How Immune Response to Infection Triggers Basal Ganglia Encephalitis Through the Breakdown of the Blood-Brain Barrier. In the next few minutes, new findings will be unveiled on the nature of autoimmune encephalitis and other central nervous system disorders. This science shows the imperative of early diagnosis and treatment for this complex patient population. Autoimmune encephalitis, or AE, is a group of central nervous system, or CNS, autoimmune disorders that occur when the body's immune system inappropriately attacks healthy brain tissue, triggering neurological and or psychiatric symptoms. Post-infectious basal ganglia encephalitis, or BGE, is a subset of AE that is triggered by infections, either bacterial, viral, or fungal. BGE is characterized by the abrupt onset of movement and or psychiatric symptoms. The basal ganglia are a group of interconnected structures within the brain that are associated with regulating functions such as motor movement, cognitive and emotional response, and procedural learning. BGE disorders include Sydenham's chorea, pediatric autoimmune neuropsychiatric disorders, associated with streptococcal infection, or PANDAS, and Pediatric Acute Onset Neuropsychiatric Syndrome, or PANS. How do recurrent infections lead to post-infectious BGE? Repeated exposure to an infectious agent such as Group A streptococcus, or GAS, causes the body to launch an immune response against the infection. The body then produces antibodies to fight the invading infection. However, certain patients produce antibodies, known as autoantibodies, that also attack the host's own healthy brain cells. The way in which these autoantibodies enter the brain is not well understood, but new research in mouse models may provide an answer. Recent mouse and human studies have shown that repeated gas infections of the mucous membrane in the upper nasal cavity lead to the production and accumulation of Th17 and Th1 lymphocytes in the surrounding tissue. Th17 and Th1 lymphocytes are pro-inflammatory cells that are commonly present in many autoimmune diseases. These cells cause a misdirected immune response that targets the host's own healthy cells. Research studies in mice suggest that these Th17 cells may travel along the nerves that sense smell, called olfactory nerves, from the nose to the brain. Once there, Th17 cells release inflammatory cytokines, which are proteins that are important for immune cell communication. These cytokines then stimulate specialized immune cells of the CNS, called microglia, to release their own inflammatory cytokines. Next, cytokines released by both Th17 lymphocytes and microglial cells trigger the breakdown of the blood-brain barrier, or BBB. The BBB is a highly selective semi-permeable boundary of specialized cells, known as endothelial cells, that line the blood vessels of the brain and prevent molecules in the circulating blood from indiscriminately entering the brain. These inflammatory cytokines cause the BBB to break down in two ways. First, they damage the tight junction, or TJ proteins, of the endothelial cells. TJ proteins join the endothelial cells of the BBB to one another and prevent the transport of molecules from the blood to the brain. The second way in which the cytokines break down the BBB is by increasing transcytosis, or the transport of molecules within endothelial cells and into the brain. The damage to tight junctions and the increase in endothelial transcytosis allows autoantibodies circulating in the blood to enter the brain where they can cause damage. Repeated untreated intranasal gas infections in a subset of patients lead to the production of autoantibodies that may target the brain. Additionally, these infections trigger powerful Th17 cell response in the nose or other parts of the body where the bacteria is located, such as the throat, tonsils, adenoids, skin, and or perianal area in order to fight the infection. Mouse studies have shown that Th17 lymphocytes play a critical role in the passage of the autoantibodies across the BBB, where they interfere with neuronal function, 
once they have entered the brain. This can lead to the abrupt onset of neurological and or psychiatric symptoms associated with BGE disorders. Certain children and adults may be genetically susceptible to autoimmunity, which might explain why they develop BGE after gas infection, which is a very common illness, and others do not. With the identification of Th17 lymphocytes as major players in causing the breakdown of the BBB after repeated gas infections in mice, studies are currently underway to examine the role of Th17 cells in humans suffering from post-infectious BGE. If similar Th17 mediated responses are found in human studies, options for improving the diagnosis and treatment of BGE disorders could include testing the cerebrospinal fluid and blood of BGE patients for inflammatory cytokines that would indicate a Th17 response, using dynamic contrast-enhanced MRI imaging tools to detect BBB breakdown during flare-ups of the disease, and researching the role of Th17 cells in patients suffering from post-infectious BGE. The findings from mouse studies indicate that there is previously undiscovered communication between the CNS and adaptive cellular immunity to infections. This may help lead to understanding how many other CNS autoimmune disorders develop, such as multiple sclerosis, neuromyelitis optica, acute disseminated encephalomyelitis, and MNDAR encephalitis. Additionally, these findings support the need for early identification of BGE cases and the critical role of immune modulating therapies in treating these disorders. Thank you for watching. We hope this has shed light on the mechanisms in a difficult CNS disease. Groundbreaking research and treatment protocols will continue to be published. Please stay tuned for the latest developments.